What is up guys? It's your boy Short and Skinny Penis here and today I'm bringing you a video that's a little bit different because I've had people asking um, especially when I'm out playing and when I'm out at Lone Wolf what do I think when I'm actually playing like what goes through my head so I'm gonna kind of give you sort of like a commentary <clears throat> now this is uh, strictly three man so I'm playing all three man and I always like to start off my clips I always like to sh uh, show me getting absolutely destroyed. So this is the first clip of the day where I was dumb and got shot. Um, I'm not a professional paintball player, but I like to show my fails. So that way you can learn from them, and so then I can learn from them. So I'm out here using a DSR with a Virtue Spire, uh, the Spire 3. It's been treating me well. So um, again, this is all three man, so this plays differently than a four or five man. Now, I've been playing... Uh, for three mans, I've just been pretty much playing all back. Uh, the reason why in three man is that there's no reason to be um, diving into snake and all that. So here I go, three man. Now this is uh, again where I get shot, little bumpy off the rip, um, and I go shooting. And as a uh, this is, I'm not playing the home bunker, but I'm still kind of playing like a more back bunker. I pick up that I have a guy shooting at me at my mirror. And this is what not to do, is I just stayed out in one area in one spot, and instead of snap shooting, I just absolutely fed that guy the kill. So don't do that. When you're in a gun battle, you want to consistently be snap shooting and gun battling and not staying in one spot. And I'm going to show you how I fix that in this next game. So when you're playing these big, in, these big giant temples and that kind of stuff, sometimes smaller insert bunkers are a little bit different. They're smaller, so you have less room to snap shoot out of. With these big bunkers... It's your goal to use all of all of that bunker, basically. There's no reason to stay in one spot. So I'm going to show you how I, uh, how I actually uh, normally snap shoot. And I'm communicating with my team here. We're all getting ready. And um, off the rip, I go shooting um, Dorito side. And then I look back up to the home. I see that I have no, no one shooting at me. I pick up at the dude that went to the snake corner. I get down low. I'm taking fire from him, I pop out and I level change, and then I, I shot him out because of that. He was shooting at me in the same area, I poke out, I notice now when I'm when I'm doing three man, when we're three alive and they're one down or two down, that's when you have to move, especially me as a back player, notice I'm keeping my head up, I know exactly where those players are at and I go run them down and get them, we traded, but on a on a three on one situation you have to end that point as fast as possible in a three man just because you don't want them to make it a two on one or you don't want them to get a quick kill because it can come a one on one real quick so you went from having the advantage to not having the advantage so me watching as a back player keeping my head down the field watching where all the players are at i wasn't actively engaging in a gun battle with them so i picked the ones that i could choose now you can see how I came off the box shooting with my right hand, which was technically my, shooting the left side of the field, which is my off hand. Uh, but then I did that so I could switch over and try to shoot that snake corner really quick. Um, now if this was actually, this is just a practice, this isn't a tournament. If this is a tournament, I wouldn't have dropped my gun here. Um, I don't really know what I was doing, I was just kind of fiddling around. I didn't have like 80 cases of paint to shoot this day, so I wasn't really focused on shooting a ton of lanes. Normally in a tournament, like I said, I would not have dropped my gun. Now as a back player, I'm patrolling both sides of the field. I'm sitting here watching, paying attention, um, listening to everything, trying to pick up on all the moves. I see where this guy from the snake, the snake side is shooting at me. Now when my guy gets into the snake, me as a back player, my job is to protect him. Um, I pick up on him moving to that. Um, I relay it to my snake guy so this way he can hear. He can he knows so he doesn't try to make a dumb move down the snake and get clapped because those corners can do a lot of damage. Now I also notice that our teammate has died. So my job now as a back player is to, to end this point one way or another. I have to spread the field. So um, I don't want to stay in that home bunker, especially when we're down a body, especially on a three-man. Now notice how I'm playing this out. Um, I'm sitting here, I'm letting my snake guy watch my Dorito side, and I'm sitting here watching his snake corner, making sure that he's not going to get run down, and he makes sure that I don't get run down. I hear that it's coming, and my snake guy picked up on it, so that was perfect teamwork. Now I'm getting shot at from that back corner. Even though it's a two-on-one situation, I still can't go and throw my body away. I'm not just aimlessly running down the field. I'm waiting. I'm putting paint on him. Now I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm putting paint on him. Now I'm going to sit in this Dorito while I'm getting shot at. I'm not aimlessly running down the field. 
my snake player ended up getting the kill on him. But notice, I didn't just run down the field aimlessly trying to go get a bunker when I'm halfway across the field. I'm so far away from him. I would have just thrown my body away, and we probably would have lost the point because it would have been a one-on-one -on -one with a dude in a tall, a tall stand-up bunker and a guy in a small lay-down snake bunker. Um, so this point was a little bit faster. Go off the break again, shooting the Dorito side. I pump back up. I shoot a couple ball, the couple balls back up at the guy in my mirror in the home. Um, I ended up shooting him out right there. I'm shooting the one guy that I know that I need to get, and I'm communicating. And um, again, I want to close out this game as fast as possible when they're down a point. So or when they're down a body, so I know that they're down. So now I have to make up some room on the field. I notice where the bodies are at. I'm paying attention. I'm not making a dumb move. I had the kill, so I took it. I didn't actually, you know, go running aimlessly down the field, and there goes my, their home player. So that's pretty much how I kind of played in my eyes. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope this kind of helps you uh, understand what I think, I guess.